good morning children so today we are going to study about our next chapter new chapter that is chapter number 4 they live for us okay children so before starting this chapter let me ask you one thing do you ever wondered how you can wear different colors of clothes yes different colors of uh, uh, food items is available in the market right then different types of uh, colors of uh, clothes you are wearing so how is it possible children have you ever wondered about that or like you can see your many of you may might be having leather bags bag which is made up of leather or some of your parents will be carrying leather wallets your father will be carrying leather wallet or your mother will be having leather purse so have you ever wondered where from where these all things come from or where from where this Uh, different colors of our uh, clothes are coming from who are putting this color to our clothes have you ever wondered children or have you ever uh, thought about it so let's see if you haven't thought think about it and we are going to explore how this color comes to this to your cloth and how what uh, what is the reason behind the leather purse or leather wallet taken by your father and mother okay so let's move so let's step on into step into the chapter that is they live for us so children before starting let's have some previous knowledge that is you studied the things which you studied in earlier classes and earlier uh, chapters that is men take different animals or animal parts as food men are having different we, we eat different animals we eat different animal parts also which is taken as food then sheep have long and thick hairs on their body have you ever seen sheep they will have long and thick hairs on their body right children then rhinoceros and deer have you ever uh, seen a deer have you ever been an, in a zoo have you ever gone in a zoo or animal national park and all so if you have gone children then you have uh, might have seen deers you might have seen rhinoceros right then animals have different patterns on their body some animals they are having different patterns on their body have you seen like uh, it's very common in today's uh, time that is this is a rainy season and you can see snakes are way too much in number uh, running in our uh, out of our home in our surroundings and all so you can see different patterns in the snake have you ever been to snake park that is in parshnikarav so if you go there you can see different snakes having different patterns on their body then um uh, honey bee you ha- you have seen honey bee right children if at all uh, if there is a, a place where sunlight and everything is not able to uh, get uh, pro- in proper in any shade shady area honey will honey bee will make their home there and uh, and man collects this honey from the hives of the honey bee have you seen the uh, people collecting honey have you ever eaten honey so it's very tasty children have you, and when you eat the honey have you uh, used it in your any dishes and all you might have used it and uh, have you ever uh, thought that uh, from where this honey comes yes it comes from honey bee 
hives of the honey bee then animals are hunted for meat ivory skin hair musk and feather so children these were the basic things which you were knowing by your earlier observations or in your you already studied in the earlier chapters or early classes and all now we are going to study in detail how the process of taking uh, this thing uh, honey color everything happens so children are you ready to step into our chapter okay so before going the into the chapter i'm going to tell you one story let's uh, study this chapter through a story okay so all of you are <coughs> all of you like to study uh, hear stories right your grandparents might be telling you so many stories okay so but my story will not be that interesting the, that much interesting but still you have to listen it okay okay then okay so children okay so children let's start the story so there were a family hmm? a family with one girl named reema and she had one brother rabi and they went to their uncle's place which were who is living in hyderabad for a vacation okay their uncle took them to hyderabad and visited the uh, shown them every place one of the place which was very interesting to them was salar jung museum okay children do you have seen Sal salar jung museum in hyderabad so let's see this is the outer area or entrance of the salar jung museum so coming to up story reema and rabi went to this museum her uncle was working in indian railways at hyderabad and he and his family were residing in the flat near a musi river okay so they uh, went to a vacation to their uncle's place <coughs> they uh, their uncle took them to this museum in an auto rickshaw and they started to uh, enter into that museum it was 10 o'clock in the morning the street was full of vendors vendors selling fruits vegetables art products musical instruments etc on the two sides of the roads were attractive pearl shops there were pearl shops iranian cafes were there toy shops was there food stalls were there these all were tempting had tempting smell of street food okay so you also will be going to uh, the school tour family tour etc okay so you will be having such experience right children so they also had their auto stopped in front of that this museum uncle purchased the tickets and they entered the museum it was the central block first which they saw was the central block a lady in uniform guided them to the gallery there was a lady and this lady was in a uniform and she guided them to library a gallery the guide gave a short history of the museum that is 
इट वॉज मेड बाय नवाब मिर यूसफ अली खान सालर जंग थ्री दिस म्यूजियम इज मेड अप बाई नवाब मिर यूसफ अली खान सालर जंग थ्री ही वॉज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ द सेवेंथ निजाम ऑफ हैदराबाद they entered the third library there were different idols made of bronze they can see of vishnu sri devi and bhu devi and they all were very large in size the gallery was full of many types of images and scriptures of the ancient period so one of the picture is i have took one picture from there and that is on your screen then next was printed textiles gallery rima was very happy and she could not explain herself and in happiness she told that how nice uncle these sarees are her uncle told that the guide told that they are patola sarees of 18th century you can see very attractive paintings in them they are made in different parts of andhra pradesh so there she saw different colors different attractive paintings in that saree and that saree was called as patola sarees and were made in the year 18th century they are made in different parts of andhra pradesh she observed the colors in them guide said that they are all natural colors most colors are of the plant origin some of the animal origin so hearing this Rima asked to his uncle to her uncle that uncle do we produce color from animals uncle said of course what is your opinion children so if you see in your textbook if you see that there are some plants which produce colors and there are some animals that produce color okay do you know how do we get the red dye red color children how do we get the red color red is favorite to almost all of them right so how do we get this red dye the farmers are growing the bugs and making the red color powder this dye is used as colors in liquors ice cream yogurts candy okay so can you see this bug this is the bug which is grown by farmers to make the red color powder this and after getting the product that that is dye it is used in as colors in liquors ice creams yogurts candy etc so children the red uh, thread or uh, red thread which is necessary for red dress is ready now so now do you understood from where you get different color dresses okay so come le let's move on to the rima's place okay go back to our sarajan museum so rima after knowing this thing and all 
she moved to the next gallery that gallery was full of attractive ornaments there were rings necklaces earrings brooches pendants bracelets etc made of glazing stones and beads her brother rabi asked are they made of jewels uncle they are mostly of pearls jewels are also there who said guide said that rabi expressed his opinion that i think pearls are collected from sea so what is your opinion children from where do they where uh, are they collected yes they are collected from c c pearl oyster see this is the place from where pearls are being collected they are you can see that pearl oyster that is a pearl oyster and from there pearl is being collected where do they live they live in the sea okay so children another one uh, is a gk to you that is which is the city of pearl hyderabad hyderabad is the city of pearls okay then they proceeded to gallery number 11 there was display of chairs idols sculptures and many types of ivory carvings all are white in color how nice are they rima said her, her uncle told that they are made of tusk of elephants they are made of tusk of elephants the carvings were purchased by the nawab from japan egypt france germany england and china the guide said the carvings were purchased by the nawab from japan egypt france germany and england and china Okay So children do you know in which states elephants live in India You you are uh, it's uh, you should tell me because it's if you are not telling then no one can tell this answer because we are with you uh, I'm telling I can't give you that clue also because we can see that you can see everywhere in every uh, if you are going to any uh, temple location if you are going to any um, zoo this thing is for sure in our place so children which state you have to tell the uh, af- about this i can't tell you more because elephants are seen more in uh, in the place where we are living itself okay so now i think almost all of you would have got the state and also not only in our state there are so many other states in our india also where elephants are seen okay and the tusk of that elephant is used to make the uh ivory ivory is the material what is ivory children it is the material used to make tusk of elephants do you know which part of tusk uh, elephant has grown to tusk and have you ever noticed which all animals have ivory other than elephants collect the details about that and write an di uh, assignment like think okay so i'm just telling the name 
that is elephant got ivory then what is this children pinniped okay there's also got ivory then one more is there you have to find it out and write the name of that one this ivory makes the elephant attractive to poachers they kill the elephants and plunder the ivory so many you can hear in the news paper uh, media every media you can see, uh, hear this news that that elephants are being killed to get that ivory from them okay so the group uh, okay so it's very cruel from the man human uh, kind to kill the animal to kill the elephant just to have the ivory that also is the their part so children you should not encourage such act so now let's come into the uh, museum let's go back to the museum so they the uh, rima and her group visited the first floor and western block and came out at 2 o'clock all of them appreciated the effort taken by the nawab to make such a collection and establish the museum they had lunch at the nearest hotel they hired an auto rickshaw and traveled to mecca masjid it took 20 minutes to reach there to their surprise it was a very large structure in front of the masjid people of all religions were crowded to observe the mosque hundreds of pigeons were eating grains some people served grains to them after the prayer in the mosque they went out for a shopping they entered into a hypermarket there they reached in the leather gallery there were very attractive bags chappals and shoes were displayed the salesman showed them the rates he said they are made of original leather rima asked what do you mean by original leather uncle said the skins of animals they are treated with chemicals to preserve and are used to make these things what did uncle said children leather is made up of skin of animal they are treated with chemicals to preserve and are used to make these things rima said varieties of bags they are very attractive rabi said the belt and purse made of leather are good and lasting what are the things we make using leather children wallet your fathers you can uh, you could have seen your uh, fathers having wallet then bag ladies bag that might be have taken by your mother or your elder sister and all shoes then belt okay so which animals skin so uh, uncle had earlier told rima that these leathers are made of skins of animals then they are treated with chemicals after getting the skin the skin is treated with chemicals to preserve and are used to make these things can you tell me which animals which all animal skins are used to make leather all whether all the animals are used or there is uh, or are there are specific uh, animals so let's see see these are the animals 
which are used to make leathers that is buffalo pig snake and the last one is lizard okay then who is this person children these are bishti bishti are muslim tribes they belong to arab tribal that is bama arab they are the traditional water carriers of south asia they used leather bags to carry the water you can see that person holding a bag which is made up of leather and in that water is there they use that leather bag to carry the waters they are the water carrier of traditional times so children this is the thing for today we will continue with that museum in the next class hope all of you have understood what i have try to explain in this class okay so thank you